you know, Vlaco and the coaching staff really values playing in the NWSL, um, you know, form in the NWSL and they reward players that are doing well in the league. So that's, you know, amazing incentive. Um, credit to, you know, the team, the women's national team for um, ratifying this new CBA. I think, you know, it's game changing. Um, it's going to affect not over not only women's soccer in the US, but throughout the whole world. And um, we'll just continue to keep driving the standard and, um, you know, passing the torch down. And I think it's it's, it's, it's exciting for um, the future generation. Tom, you're up next. Yes. Uh, Jill Ellis has said this is the best league in the world because of the depth and that your opponent tonight seemed to show that. I, I know they uh, had a rough year last year and they were 0-1 and 2 coming in, but it, it looked like they uh, had good speed and good ball control and a beautiful penalty shot. Um, so is this proof that it's a very deep league and there are a lot of good teams? Yeah, I think it definitely is the strongest league um, in the world. Uh, and yeah, credit to Louisville, they came out and um, they put on a really good performance. But I think like Abby said um, earlier, I think there's a lot of um, learnings and positives to take out of this game for us. And it's it's early in the season still, and we have a clear vision as a club. Um, we have a clear a philosophy. And um, I think game by game, we're only gonna look to, to benefit that and, and um, yeah, build on that. And we look now towards North Carolina. Abby, what do you think of Louisville? Yeah, I think, you know, they're a good team. I think they learned a lot last year um, and, and they're making strides forward. I think, you know, getting just over the off season uh, is tremendous. Um, I think, uh, you know, they have very dangerous attacking threat and they're good in attacking transition and they're dangerous on set plays, which um, sometimes can, you know, cost you a game. So. It's unfortunate, but you know, uh, like Emily said, this league is the strongest in the world. Like Jill said, um, it's the best league in the world and um, you have to come out and perform every game or else you're gonna get beat. So, and even on the road, it's even harder. So credit to Thank Louisville, you. but we gotta learn and uh, be better next game. Thank Jill, you. You're up next. Jeff. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear, I didn't hear you. Um, just wondering uh, for both of you, maybe with the, the unique perspective from, you know, midfield and the back line on um, what, what sort of challenges maybe that, that DeMello Howell combination presented for, for each of you. Um, from a midfield perspective, um, they obviously played with two deeper and one out and out 10, which was um, Kaiser. And yeah, she obviously poses quite a threat with her pace. Um, and she's, she's dribbling number 10. Um, but I think at times we definitely nullified that. Um, like I've said, I don't think they had that many chances. I think our defense was solid today. We've just got to take our chances to be ruthless, um, not only in our attacking third, but again, um, a set piece cost us tonight. So we've got to look to be better towards North Carolina. Thank you. Morgan, your hand was up. I, I don't want to skip you if you meant to keep it up. I brought it down. I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay. Um, and then SoCal Women's Soccer, are you still up or do you have another question? Um, I do have another question. This is for, for either of you. Um, can you speak about the physicality? There seem to be, uh, for two teams that, that haven't really played each other, there, it, there seem to be a lot of a lot of fouls and very physical play. Is that just the normal now for the league, or is that something about this team in particular? Um, I mean, I think it's just competitiveness. I mean, uh, yeah, it was a physical game, and um, for whatever reason, uh, Maybe some, you know, fouls were reckless and uh, we needed to be maybe a little bit smarter on, on some. And I mean, we're just going to look back and review it. And again, it's the fourth game of the season. I don't think we need to overthink it, but I think we'll just take some uh, learning uh, points from this game and, um, you know, be upset about the result. But I think, you know, come tomorrow, we got to um, just continue to improve and get better. And um, yeah, just look towards North Carolina, like Emma said. All right, thank you. And then with North Carolina coming up, anything in particular, any matchups that um, that you're looking forward to or um, anything that, you know, managing minutes or anything like that that you guys have concerns with? Yeah, I think we'll 
obviously go back to the drawing board, recover um, is most important at the moment. Um, and yeah, obviously we'll look to put in a good shift against North Carolina because as Abby said, um, every game is competitive um, and it's really important that we go into each game with the mindset of wanting to take three points. Okay, thank you very much. Great, we have one time for one last question. Um, just raise your hand. If not, we'll let these girls go. Alrighty, thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you.